about 5.30 in the morning here on the island. It's very quiet, but the coffee's flowing. Um, it's an incredible place with the windows open and the waves crashing and the breeze. It's a little humid at night. There's no air conditioning. Um, we're in July, so it's, it's uh, coming into rainy season. And uh, this week's going to be, I think, a little rainy. But if it's going to rain, I can take it here just as much as I can take it in a city or in the country. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. We've got a, a pretty good week ahead of us. Um, the big day is the lionfish tournament on the 7th. And uh, we're expecting to have hundreds of lionfish come through. A lot of cleaning, dissecting, counting, uh, documenting. And the divers are getting ready. They've had their briefing. And all the divers are ready to go out and start catching lionfish. And uh, hopefully this could be a good day. Weather seems to be holding up. It's a little windy, uh, depending on which side they go diving on. Uh, the barrier side or the you know, inside. Um, I think it's going to be a good day for them. So, as the divers go, we have a DJ setting up at 5.30 in the morning. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll on this lionfish tournament here in Tobacco Key, Belize. And we're going to hope for the best. As you can see, this side is uh, a lot windier, so this is where most of the divers are going to be. I think there's one diver, one dive boat on uh, on the side towards the land, and this side uh, there's a uh, one, two, maybe four boats going out uh, on the much more rough side. So, uh, line fish hunting is not all as easy as it looks, because when you see it, it's usually underwater, but uh, on the surface it can be kind of rough. So. Again, it's a little after 5.30 and uh, the divers are getting ready to go. And uh, we're hoping for the best. And there's even some uh, some fun guys that are waiting for all the excitement. All oh, the excitement. Yeah. And another set of divers off in the distance getting ready. Um, most of the divers are local here. Hopefully they'll, they'll well, Hopefully they won't come back with any because it won't be any, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. So um, we'll see the first drop off is at 8 o'clock. So every two hours they got to be back to drop the fish off so that the, we can process them over time so we don't get, you know, 100 fish all at once. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing updates throughout the day and uh, hopefully um, they'll rid the reefs from all the uh, lionfish. Good. So this is. Donkey, what's your real name? Doing. Doing? Yeah. This is Doing. He's one of the locals here. He's what makes uh, Tobacco Key and uh, right. Windward Lodge and this whole area run amazingly. And he does, he's like he's up all morning, up all night, whatever you need. This is the man. You said it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. No problem, man. So, um, largest is Rue and smallest, or were you just scared more? It's one. One? Yeah. One got the smallest, and then. Um, So this is your bucket just here. So uh, you can, yep, count them in. Would you like to pour them in? Very much room. So first diver came in, Next. caught seven in a really short period of time. That kind of tells you um, the size of the problem here we have in Belize, uh, at least in the, the Tobacco Key Reef area. That you know, we got on the boat, went out, and about an hour later came back with seven lionfish. And that's just one diver. Uh, there might be the other divers are still out there, probably trying to max out, but. Uh, 
There's a lot of, lot of lionfish here in Belize, and it's a major problem. And what we're trying to do here is to take uh, and encourage them to catch more lionfish. So Tobacco Key Marine Station has actually created a, kind of a bounty. They'll pay, they'll pay 10 Belizean dollars per lionfish, no matter what size. Uh, then they fillet it, and then they sell it to the local restaurants. They don't make money on it. They actually lose money. But the savings cost is going to be for the reef system here. So, yeah, it's off to a good start. It's still early. And, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day here on Tobacco Key. Three meters from Italian up to eight. That's a tiny little guy. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Ice in before. No. Fifteen to twenty foot. Ice in before. No, ice in. Bara. Bara. Bara yes. The gospel bara. Yes. Wow. Um, the kitchen trapping yeah. burritos for you and James. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Figured that'd probably be the easiest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the slowest print. No one wrap for all. Yep. Do you live on? Just the chilling. Um, who gets the biggest? Calvin. Calvin, catch the biggest as well. Calvin. The biggest as well. Super tiny. Yep. Nice. We're up to 11 at the moment. Well, you're already in first place. Who <laughs> you called you call that one? Calvin, Calvin. Nice, Calvin. So it's 12. So that's 13. 13, 13, 13 Oh, <laughs> very ready for dissection. Interesting to uh, do the leaf. Oh, look at that one. All right, uh, we've got all the information. Next batch just came in and caught 24 of them uh, in less than a couple of hours. So, um, again, there's there's a problem here in Belize with lionfish, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. So the tournament's off and running. It's uh, still pretty early in the morning here in Belize at Tobacco Key Marine Station, and uh, this last batch came in at 24 uh, fish, and there's still divers out there, and now they're starting the dissection. Uh, the recording of everything, size, weight, and, uh, body, what content, stomach content, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're off to a good start. It's a beautiful day in Belize. It's even more beautiful when you can go lionfish hunting. So another set of divers just came in. Um, it, it, it gets exponentially more and more lionfish coming in. The, the amount that these guys caught is, it's ridiculous. And again, they're out there, what, maybe two hours? Um, and they're gonna be doing this all day? There's just a tremendous amount of lionfish here uh, on the reefs in Belize. Um, and it's causing some major devastation on the reefs. So, um, as you see, And again, this is just one dive team out of, I believe, five that showed up today. Um, so yeah, a lot of lionfish, a lot of dissection going on over there, a lot of weights and measurements. Um, we're gonna get some really good data, uh, and Lionfish Patrol is going to uh, capture all the data uh, so that we can find the sweet spots for, for hunting lionfish here in Belize um, and start tracking for the country. So a lot of good stuff happening here today. It's gonna be kind of a chaotic day, but it's a great day. Latest batch of divers came in, uh, 34, and this is one of the bad boys. 
they're just they're huge they're, they're just there's just tons of them and they're coming in uh, boat after boat so it's a great day we're, we're really getting a lot of lionfish and this tournament at tobacco key marine station is off to a great and running start Wow, look at the size of that thing. Yeah. Right here. Right here. So, uh, where do I put these Just to describe, so this here is a long fin damselfish, um, a um, sort of like a key reef gardener, and in this is a swimming ocelot crab, um, and uh, there's two times crustaceans in there. And a whole pile of stuff from other fish. And, and, and this is what the, this and those came out of, is wow. this fish right here. Wow. And it's a female. Look at the size of that thing, too. That's a big, that's a big fish that it took. Wow. So the, the spines are venomous, and if you're going to be handling lionfish and, and moving them and flipping them, uh, dissecting them, you want to make sure you don't get stung by the spines. Um, there's, there's 18 spines total, top, bottom, and uh, there's a venom in there. It's not poisonous, it's venomous. So um, if you get stung and it gets into your bloodstream, that's when the pain starts. So what the students are doing is they're removing the spines before they start dissecting them and measuring them and weighing them. So uh, it's a safe process, it's a, it's a good process. Um, not every diver does that, but for this uh, instance where, where there's a lot of people and a lot of motion going on, uh, it's a good idea. So that's what uh, they were just doing, uh, taking off all the venomous spines. And it is tough doing the dissections just non-stop. You know, um, being from the States, when we do tournaments, we take a lot of stuff for granted. We have plenty of ice machines right there. We have supplies that are there, all sorts of stuff. You know, line fish hunting equipment. Um, just a simple thing as getting ice for this for today. Uh, had to go to the mainland, right? So they had to take a boat trip on a tiny little skiff to go out and grab ice just so we could have ice. And it's, you know, it's not something that's easy for them, right? So they've got to work hard just to get ice here to keep all these fish fresh. Um, the pole spears that they were making, they were some people were taking tire spokes and welding them, kind of like this plastic weld material, uh, to create their own pole spears. Um, they're, they're very resourceful. <laughs> One of the zookeepers was a bucket, which I don't know if they still have it here. Um, it was pretty funny. It was an old oil bucket that, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll show that later, but they basically took an old oil buck, you know, uh, container, sliced it, and used that as a zookeeper. So, what we take for granted in the states and other countries, um, out here, 14 miles off the coast of Belize, um, everything has to be brought in. Even fresh water is brought in for some of the lodges here. They have to bring in, they have to buy the water. Um, and this is a, an island that is solar powered and then a generator at times to make up for the difference. Um, it's pretty incredible what they're doing today. It's pretty incredible the amount of buy-in that came in from other divers and some of the locals. Um, the teachers that are here uh, learning about Tobacco Key Marine Station for their students, they're all taking part in cutting and uh, dissecting and recording uh, to get a feel for what the students go through. Um, and you don't have to be a student to come here. You can be, you know, you can be in your 80s and want to come here and, and take part and learn. So this is experiential training for anybody and everybody. It just happens that a lot of students want that uh, trip abroad to, to learn and to have that experiential training. So if you're interested, look into Tobacco Key Marine Station. 
uh, off of Belize and you know check it out because it's it's really impressive what they're doing here. All right, so what we're doing is we're taking the lionfish, we're gonna bring them over, we're gonna dry them off, right? So we want to dry the lionfish off, and we put them on the scale. And this one is 20. The wind is kind of messing it up, so if it can draft here for a little bit, 33. 11.3 Actually, 31. So it goes from 31, and then we bring it over here to the station. They record the information. They take the spines off, and then they move them to the table over there, where they can do all the dissection. It's a great process. You ready for more? So, uh, since the 8 o'clock drop-off, a total of 89 fish came in. 89 lionfish from just a handful of teams. And uh, James, Zara, uh, and the rest of the crew, the students, the teachers, the faculty, uh, they're just finishing up the cleaning now. And uh, at 11 o'clock, we have round two. So we're hoping to get some more lionfish in, hoping to get a lot more lionfish in, uh, and get a lot, all that data, the stomach contents, the, the measurements, their weights. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible. They're doing a great job, and it's off to a great start. All right, everybody, 89 lionfish uh, deposited in our first round of the Tobacco King Marine Station Lionfish Tournament. Uh, this is the contents of 89 lionfish's stomachs. So what have we got? Well, shrimp is extremely popular. Um, let's point out a couple of fish species for you. We have things like juvenile princess parrotfish here. We even have big eyes, such as squirrelfish. Surprisingly, we're seeing a lot of damselfish in here. Um, we've had things like this. This is a juvenile Beau Gregory damselfish. We've got longfin damselfish here. Um, and um, we have even some crustaceans. We've got crabs in there. Uh, so these have been uh, dissected, uh, documented, uh, and they're put on ice. And then at, later on, at some point this afternoon, we're going to do a fillet contest. And then after the fillet contest, we're going to make some uh, ceviche. And there's different people making different uh, recipes, and we're going to judge who made the best ceviche. Uh, and then later on this afternoon, we'll have all the prizes, and it should be a good time. And then we get to feast on these beautiful lionfish fillets. So it's all the little stuff behind the scenes that takes a lot of work as well. It's not just a tournament where we catch fish, count them, and eat them. It's a lot of cleaning and sanitizing and getting ready for the next round, which should be in about an hour, maybe 30 minutes or so. We got another round of divers coming in with some more lionfish for round two. Uh, so they'll be unloading them, throwing them into the buckets, we'll be doing the counting, all the measurements, and yeah, let the fun begin. Let it begin. <laughs> Engine, we're all gone. Bye, mine, bye. Just like, where did you catch these? Uh, open water again. Open the water. Up, up the reef. Just up the reef, like the random rock patches. Yeah, you go past fast. like cross keys, Columbus no, keys? No, between here and cross keys. So between tobacco and cross key. Um, depth? Well, 15, 15 to 20 feet. 15 to 20 feet. Wow. And uh, what sort of behavior? Uh, Rest and napping. Right, so let's get quite a few people counting so we've all got the same number Seven, 
There we go. And that was in 20 feet of water? Yeah. Wow. So they caught 17 fish, big ones, in about 15 to 20 feet of water. Um, which is really scary because usually the big ones are a lot deeper than that and uh, if they're that shallow they're doing a lot of damage so yeah we're gonna find out what's in them in a few and keep counting so this is uh, 25 on this catch so this was 17 17 in that one yeah Go ahead. and 25 in this one Wow So, I'm not going to say that this is a poor country, but they do have challenges getting really good quality products. Um, yesterday, some divers went out and caught some lionfish, and they didn't have a zookeeper, which is kind of like the gold standard for uh, putting your lionfish in when you catch them, so a containment unit. Um, so this is what they used. It's an oil bottle. And uh, they kind of made a zookeeper. I think it held like three lionfish in here. Um, but if you ever felt the need to want to donate something to a really good organization that's trying really hard to rid the Belizean reefs of lionfish, this would be the time to kind of step up and do that. Because uh, the simple thing like what to put them in um, is lacking here. So there's one zookeeper on the island and they actually lend it out to all the divers when they're going lionfish hunting because they want to help them catch more lionfish. You know, you come to the surface with something like that, you're not going to bring bringing back a lot of lionfish. Um, and this isn't safe, but it's a good use of throwing something away to make it useful, but they could definitely use some lionfish uh, containment units here. Um, actually, they could use a lot of things here, and they're doing a great job on a shoestring budget, so, <laughs> as you can see. interesting thing that we have here is that because lionfish are nocturnal feeders, mm -hmm. we're uh, noticing less um, items in their stomachs, um, as well as the fact that they are more digested, having been now been caught later in the day. Okay. So, um, no more uh, unique species, we've still got some more damselfish, shrimp, again, extremely popular, we've got a very big one here, oh, that yeah. bad boy there. So um, Belize is actually uh, licensed to have um, six commercial um, shrimp fishing vessels um, only throughout the year. So the shrimp industry is a very, very important um, commercial um, fisheries export for Belize. So the fact that lionfish are munching on the shrimp is, uh, is really worrying. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. How'd you do it? Good? You happy? And if you look at the containment unit, it's actually the top of a motor. It's an Evan Root. Enduro. Jerome just came in and he is the leader currently and he just came back with a bunch more lionfish 
Um, they're going to count them up. They're going to measure them, weigh them, do all the dissection. Um, and we're going to add his number to the leaderboard, which is right over there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see who's going to win this thing. Now, what's really interesting is the container that they carried him in. They took the top of the engine and they used that as their uh, containment unit to carry them from the boat to here, which is right there. Awesome. Working hard. Seventeen. You guys need a nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. All right. So that was twenty-one on this last uh, catch. So far, we've got over 200 lionfish totaled, and we're still waiting for another diver to come back. So we've, we've uh, topped 200, and uh, there's one more diver out there, and as soon as he comes back, we'll update the, uh, the total. But we're over 200, which is great. So a lot of good times here. All in one So we dry the fish first, then we weigh the fish, take the weight, then we cut the spines off, and then when the spines are cut off, we measure it. Hi, how you doing? We measure the length. And then we measure the mouth. We write all the information down. Both left to right, top to bottom. Document the information. We put it over on the information board over here. And then we hand it off to the people that are doing the dissection. And that's the process. Uh, 215. That's awesome. So, 215 with four teams. Do the math. It's pretty horrific. Four dive teams, eight hours, 215 lionfish. 215 lionfish in an afternoon. Okay, and a morning as well. A one day tournament with four teams, 215. That's a, that's a lot of lionfish. You know, we, we do a lot of um, tournaments uh, in Florida and uh, you usually don't get 200 plus lionfish with a small amount of people. Sometimes you do depending on which part of Florida, but 215 in a day's uh, tournament for four teams, it's, it's a lot of blind fish. So great job for the divers. They're all locals, and there's some great prizes. And, uh, yeah, these divers are going to make some good money today, and we're all going to eat some good ceviche pretty soon. So all in all, a fantastic 
fantastic day. Four teams, eight hours, 215 lionfish. And there were some big ones in there. Great job by the locals. There's gonna be some great prizes. What a great day, music. And we haven't even gotten to the uh, filleting contest and the ceviche at the bar. Yeah, it's gonna be a good night. I mean, uh, it was a great tournament. So thank you for everybody that did this. And Tobacco Key Marine Station, great job. They, the work they did was incredible. Great job. So what we're doing now is we're measuring the fish. We're breaking it up at about 10 pounds per dive, or, or actually per, uh, yeah, I guess they're divers. They're doing a fillet contest. And we're gonna break up, we're doing a total weight for how much lionfish we caught. And uh, we're gonna give each uh, participant in the fillet contest 10 pounds and see who can do it the fastest and the best and come up with the most weight in the end. This is a normal lionfish hunting spear tip, right, from a, uh, a sling, pole spear. These are some on the islands here that are kind of handmade with a polymer, a metal polymer, and some, I believe these came off a grill. Uh, these were the, uh, what you would grill on, they cut them and, and sharpened them, and these aren't even all that sharp. But uh, they're still pretty effective. And another one. Actually, a whole bunch of them. And uh, we are very excited to announce that today we removed, well, with all of your help, 215 lionfish from around Tobacco Key. <laughs> so great job for all of you. Now, uh, it was some pretty fierce competition, very, very close at times. Uh, during the second wave, there was just two lionfish in it between first and second place. Um, but very proud to announce that the winners of our Lionfish Tournament are Team Colin, Patrick, and uh, Sticky. <laughs> Sticky? <laughs> Cookies as well. So uh, guys, would you like to climb up and claim your uh, $1,250 prize wow. plus a $50 wow. bar tab provided by uh, Winwood Lodge, redeemable at Sunset Bar? <laughs> And um, definitely um, very close on their heels um, throughout the whole tournament was um, was Team Jerome, and uh, that was Team Jerome, Alex, uh, Calvin, and uh, who's what? Christian. So uh, we have for you guys a uh, 500 Belizean dollars and another 50 dollar bar tab provided by the Winwood Lodge. So guys, come on down, come claim your prize. Big round of applause for these guys, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Respect Excellent. Thank you. Respect. Respect. <laughs> and uh, again, um, we have a third prize for uh, the team that caught the most amount of lionfish. And um, would uh, Team Fire, Noble, um, who else is on your team? Villa. 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 Villa
And Cody, come on up guys for Woo! claiming $250 plus a $50 bar tab donated by the Winwood Lodge. Yeah! Up, yeah! So, uh, that concludes our team prizes. However, we do have some individual competitions on offer. Now, uh, we actually do have a record breaker. Um, the record breaker was for the smallest lionfish we have ever recorded. Uh, provided in uh, wave three, um, it measured just 5.7 centimeters long. So the smallest lionfish we've ever recorded in what is now 700 lionfish uh, processed through Tobacco King Marine Station. So uh, would um, the lucky winner who is claiming a uh, 50 liter ice box donated by Hummingbird Distributors, um, this very fashionable sunglasses holder, um, and um, fishing reel, nightlight, and lionfish patrol t-shirt, the lucky winner is... No ball! Come on! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> nice! That's a score. <laughs> Top points to Noble for breaking our record for the smallest lionfish ever caught. So, uh, Noble, lots of people were asking, how did you actually catch it? Okay, um, 40. So, 40 spotted. Like, he was like, hey, he said there's a lionfish right there. I went down. And I was Oh. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that, that retail thing, Matt, that's Boom. a dead accuracy there. There you go. Cody, <laughs> props to Cody. There we go. Round of applause to Cody for spawning it. That is a tiny lionfish. Well done. And uh, we have a, another individual competition. And this is for our heaviest lionfish call. Now, this lionfish came in at 670 grams for nearly one and a half pounds. Not quite a record breaker for uh, the Marine Station, but certainly was a clear winner today. Uh, very uh, pleased to announce that this uh, lucky winner will be receiving two Bokawina zip lines donated by Island Expeditions, a uh, fishing reel donated by Reef's End, another sunglasses holder, another icebox, and uh, a t-shirt donated by Lionfish Patrol. Patrick or Compe, come on down! Woo! Woo! Patrick! Patrick! Woo! Go get him! Here we go, sir. Here we go. So, uh... So, uh, Compe has actually been uh, instrumental um, in um, helping us with our lionfish bounty this year. Uh, he's caught many lionfish uh, just this year, so uh, he certainly was. He had to win something because uh, he is that dedicated to removing the lionfish population here. So, But again, everyone, thank you so, so much. I would like um, us all just to take a moment and give a round of applause to uh, the fishermen. We were out there and uh, brought us in 215 line for the <laughs> However, the, uh, the thanks don't end there because um, this wasn't just simply removing lionfish at Tobacco Key Marine Station. We are collecting data on the population to try and uh, monitor them in terms of what is their impact. Um, are we actually being able to capture them um, and keep their populations down? Um, by today, um, we've certainly had a big impact in that, and um, all of the data collection would not have been uh, possible if it wasn't for uh, our dedicated interns and um, some fantastic members from um, Georgia in Atlanta. So, uh, big round of applause to all of the volunteers that were weighing, measuring, and dissecting all 215 lions for today. Uh, we also have um, some partners that we would like to thank. Um, so big ups to um, Lionfish Patrol. Um, Scott, give us a wave. Yeah. They, uh, we are partnering with Lionfish Patrol to um, help um, raise awareness on the lionfish uh, problem in the Western Atlantic, as well as um, 
really uh, lifting data and uh, increasing our awareness about the problem of lionfish. Um, and then uh, you haven't mentioned the sponsors, but just to go through them again, big thanks to Wacker um, Wiener and um, Green Forest Adventures for donating the zip lines. Happy Go Lucky Tours, they actually donated the um, bioluminescence uh, City River Tour, which is going to be offered for the Philae competition. Hummingbird Distributors who donated the ice boxes. Um, Reef Sand for donating the reels. Sting Master for um, their sting gel. Uh, luckily, no one did get stung today, so woo! Woo! Glad I didn't use them. Um, trees for donating a night stay, dinner, bed and breakfast, and a tour for our the Beach Ball competition. The Windward Lodge for uh, donating the bar tab and free drinks for the prizes. And um, my uh, my mum's little craft shop called Totes from Tatters, who was uh, able to um, buy um, some of the uh, in equipment for the Philae competition. So big thank you for all of our partners and sponsors. We really couldn't do it. What we're going to do is we're going to get ready for our Philae competition. Now uh, we have 4.4 uh, pounds of lionfish in front of you. You will have 10 minutes to fillet as much lionfish as you can. The fisherman with the most amount of fillet in terms of pounds at the end of 10 minutes will be taking home a brand new fillet knife, gloves, fish scraper, um, fishing weighing scales, knife sharpener, and $100 prize money plus a 50 liter ice pot. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so, the filet competition is um, completely free for entry. Um, we um, would anyone like to put themselves forward for <coughs> entry? <laughs> When you have 215 lionfish, there's the, the challenge of having to clean them all. You know, if you're going to eat them, you got to clean them. So if you have a contest, well, that kind of makes up for all that cleaning. And it's kind of a fun way to get a lot of lionfish cleaned very quickly. So we have a 10 minute contest and uh, the person that gets the most weight out of their fillets wins a prize. Then we can get on to the, uh, the making of the ceviche.
the last year we are uh, the third winner, we have a new kilo knife, sharpener, fish scraper, uh, sunglasses holder, $100 cash, and a 50 liter ice box. <laughs> Thank you, round of applause for Les, thank you very much. And uh, if anyone was wondering, I didn't actually come last. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what we are going to uh, now announce is our ceviche competition. So you can see lots of pile in front of you. We also have an ingredients table, which has uh, lots of limes, cucumbers, sweet pepper, red onion, tomatoes, uh, habanero peppers. There's even some weird and wacky stuff such as mango and avocado in there. So if you fancy yourself a chef, then uh, you are more than welcome to take however much filet you would like, um, grab the ingredients that you would like. Um, you may then go away, make your ceviches, and then uh, bring that bowl of ceviche back. Confer and announce the winner very, very shortly. Um, we will do honourable mentions, um, but <laughs> this is a competition and there is only one way. <laughs> <laughs> They did actually unanimously on a winner. Um, but we must um, say that all of these presented really unique flavors and demonstrated that lionfish is actually an incredibly versatile meat and you can do so much with it. Including dinner, breakfast, and a tour for a treat. Plus a hundred dollars cash. Congratulations, Jackie! <laughs> so, uh, everybody, um, that actually concludes our lionfish day. Please yes. rip into the uh, tortilla chips, help yourselves, and uh, see if you agree with us on uh, what is your favorite to be A big and thank the crowd you from all of us at the Marine Station. You guys have been great, and. Uh, Please enjoy the uh, the ceviche. Thank you.